Folk used to joke that if I, my car was the equivalent of driving your car into Halfords and throwing all the accessories on it and driving out. My name's Jim Crosby and this is my Listabel STR, which is a Lancia Stratos replica made manufactured by LB Specialist Cars in Nottingham. I was down at the kit car show in Stoneleigh around about 2017. I had an Ultima, I was looking at Ultima things, I walked into a show hall and there were lots of Stratos replicas there and it was just a wow moment, a big flash bang, want one, need one. I'm quite shy, reserved, retired, but there was a queue of folk waiting to get to the front to speak to Craig and Lydia from LB Specialist Cars and I joined it. And I wasn't really quite sure what I wanted to ask. Um, so by the time I got to the front of the queue, I'd heard folk asking about chassis, torsional rigidity, and can bus CCUs and damper rates and sensible stuff. And I got to the front and I pointed at one that had decals on it and it even had Alitalia colours. And I said, if I wanted one of them, could I have one? And he said, yeah. And I said, but I want all the lights on it. Yeah, you could have that. And I said, I, I want the big square arches at the back. Said, yeah, yeah, you could have that. And the roof scoop, I want the roof scoop. And I, and I want the exhaust that spit flames at the back. And the dashboard, all the dials on it, I want all these things. And it was like, yeah, yeah, of course you can have that, of course you can have that. And I had no more questions, because everything I asked, I could get. So I went away quite happy, deciding that, yeah, I, 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 was, going to, I was going to have one. Which was quite impulsive, really and quite brave, especially when I phoned home. <laughs> I'm the least likely person you would ever meet, I think, to own a kit car. I've got no mechanical skills, no mechanical aptitude, no interest in learning a new hobby, no interest in getting oily, buying tools, living in a shed. And yet for this, I was thinking back and I've owned the Westfield Mega Blade, which was a kit car with a Honda Fireblade engine built by a man in a shed. And I've owned a Caterham R300 Superlight, which is a kit car built by a man in a shed. I've owned my Ultima for seven years, which is a supercar kit car built by a man in a shed. So I'm perhaps more kit car minded than I thought. Could I have owned a real original Lancia Stratos? Yeah, probably, but the, the objective wasn't to own one. It was to have in my head what I envisaged as one, a rally car something that looked like it had turned left at a rally stage and was on the road and was out of place, as opposed to an expensive 1970s piece of machinery. When I was specking the car, one of the main things I wanted was the the rally dashboard, all the all the dashboard dials, all the switches, all the toggles. I didn't quite appreciate that when I was sitting in the car, the only thing really that I'd be able to pay attention to is the rev counter, which is plunked right in front of my face. Fortunately, it's got a shift lights so that I know when to change up because really things happen very quickly. The speedometer is actually tucked right out of sight underneath my right hand and you've almost got to crane your neck to have a look at it. A really big feature for me was always going to be the, the noise of the car, the spirit, the soul of the car. I was never overly focused on the ultimate power. Ultimate power for one of these you'd probably get a one of the Lotus Evora supercharged V6 3.5 litre engines, you could possibly get up to about 400 brake horsepower. The power aspect was never what I was looking for. I wanted noise, I wanted almost a personality in the car that spoke. So for me that was always going to be the Alfa Romeo Busso engine, 
they come in two and a half litre engines, they come in three litre engines, or if you're lucky, you can get your hands on a 3.2 litre engine. When I was talking to Craig and Lydia at the show, they were going through these options, and for me it was, yeah, yeah, the big one, the big one, the 3.2. So that was a fixed point in my head from that point. Um, to get more noise, we've gone down the route of putting BMW individual throttle bodies onto the car. That gives it more power, which is great. 322 brake horsepower on the rolling road. The car weighs 980 kilos, so I think we'll just call that 325 brake horsepower per tonne, which I think is adequate. After it passed its IVA test, we had specialist cams fitted to it, we had vernier pulleys fitted to it, we had it back on the rolling road to be remapped for the higher power, but more really to get a lumpy idle, to get almost the essence of a race car, as opposed to get the power from a race car. It, as I say, it's never really about the how many brake horsepower can you squeeze out of it. It was, how can you make it more like a rally car? <laughs> when I discovered that I was, one day I was sitting watching football, laptop, surfing the internet, looking at Lancey Stratos things, and I discovered a website that sold 118th scale model cars. I found that they did 118th scale Lancey Stratoses. I found that they did a Lancia Stratos in an Alitalia colour with decals that I liked, with a quad pod, with the lights at the bottom, with a roof scoop, with the twin exhausts, with absolutely everything that I wanted in my head from my car. So suddenly that was my car. I, I bought the model and that was, that was it. That was the target. When I was talking then to Craig and to Lydia, to anyone else who was involved with my car and the building of it, I was able to refer to my car, which is car number four, finished second in the Tour de Course, 1977. Yeah, it gave the focus. It wasn't the thing that started it. It came along halfway through, but it's the only car that I've seen as a model which has everything on it that, that I wanted. So it was then my car. I started the Piston Heads thread, I think, two and a bit years into the process of um, getting the car. I think at that point I'd already got the chassis, the engine had been sent away to Cardiff to be rebuilt by a specialist engine builder. There were a lot of things that had already happened to the car then. So starting to document that I thought would be interesting and I thought it would probably be finished in about eight months didn't quite appreciate I'd be contributing to my own thread still another couple of years later. Uh, part of it was a sanity check, I actually quite enjoyed it. It gave me something to do with all the photos that I had. So that was, that was where Piston Heads came into it. The main thing I'd say about my car, the, the LB car, it's more a homage to the original Stratos than actually a replica. Um, the last thing I wanted to be doing was looking in scrapyards or looking for Fiat's or Alphas and things and taking bits off them and having things refurbished. So everything in my car is absolutely bespoke and new other than the engine. It's probably more akin to, and this is probably a bad example, but similar to Lotus, it's a low volume sports car as opposed to a kit car. Um, everything's really been more purposely designed and from an engineering aspect, it, it drives better than an original it will be faster than an original. Um, it will be more planted on the road than an original. Now obviously if you're Sandro Minari or uh, Rafael Pinto, it wouldn't really matter, you'd probably rather have the original. But in terms of replicating the look of the car, the feel of the car, the essence of what a Lancia Stratos is, that's one and it, it doesn't have bits from a 1970s car because you're replicating a 1970s car. If you want to check out my reader's car thread in full, just click on the link in the description below and whilst you're there you can start your own thread on your own car.